Hi, my name is Nick Houston here for Gotham Sound and Communications. Uh, today we're talking about the new timecode system uh, systems, uh, particularly the wave and the pulse, but the wave is what we have here today, and the integration with these products into the Sound Devices 6 series. Uh, so these products will not only do wireless timecode now, but they'll also do metadata control um, into the 6 series via USB and you can control it via Wi-Fi, uh, which is pretty cool. So all new, just released uh, not too long ago. Um, so to integrate with the Sound Devices 6 series, and when I say 6 series, I mean the 633, the 664, and the 688, uh, all you need is either a timecode systems wave, which we have here, um, or a pulse. And then you would need a data cable. Um, you can use the TCB40 to plug directly into the 688. Uh, or the TCB41, uh, which is what we have here, and we're just going through an adapter. Um, but this will also work going through the CL12. Um, so, and then you would of course need your uh, six series device. So to show you a little bit about the wave before we start connecting things, on the back, um, we've got a nine to 36 volt DC port. Uh, two, uh, it's a two pin limo. We've got our data port, which is where your uh, TCB cable is going to plug in timecode port for timecode I.O. and then a timecode or sync uh, B and C, so for doing word clock, etc. cetera. Um, on this side, we have a USB, um, a USB 2.0 port for doing firmware updates, but you can also charge off that. Uh, this does have an internal battery on it. Um, and then you've got the front. So to turn this thing on, uh, you push and hold until it says turn on, and then you spin the knob and then it turns on. So it's pretty easy. Uh, make sure you spin it you know, more than, let's say, like a full turn to actually turn it on. Shows you your time code. Uh, you can do all the settings on the main wheel, but we're going to go over the integration um, with the 6 series, so we'll show off some apps that can make that a little bit easier. Um, so you want to plug your data port, or your data cord into the data port, and then your time code cord into the time code port, and you're ready to go. Um, so to make this work with your, uh, with your iPad or with your laptop or with your Android or whatever you want, the first thing you have to do is connect via Wi-Fi. So we're just going to go ahead and make sure we're connected via Wi-Fi. Um, and we'll go into Wi-Fi and we see Wave 16 is already in there, so that's great. And then um, we'll just very briefly, I'm going to show off proof of concept that the um, that you can visit it from any um, from any web browser. So we'll just open Safari, and you go to the IP address that is on your um, your wave or your pulse, uh, and it will load it will load and do all those fun things. So, but what we what we really want to show off are the apps that work with this because the apps um, the B Link app you'll notice is very similar to uh, the web interface, um, but it works, it's a little bit more um, elegant and functional. Um, and then the um, Movie Slate app is also very, very feature rich. So let's get over to the B-Link app. And we'll just go ahead and open up the B-Link hub. And you can see time code is rolling. Um, so we're opening up the B-Link hub. All right, so first things first, we're gonna unlock the settings. Uh, and to do that, we're going to enter our password, which is 1111, which is the same uh, code that I have on my luggage. And so you can see uh, that there's a bunch of different settings that you can do uh, off to the left. You can change the, um, yeah, so we can click on our, on our wave, which is over here, that orange thing that says loading. And we can change whether or not we want it to be uh, generating uh, internally or externally. Right now we're set to externally, the frame rate, all sorts of fun stuff. So now if we want to edit some things on the uh, 688, we're going to go to plug-in control. And it's going to load the plug-in controls. And we're going to unlock the settings again. Same password. Okay. And so off to the lower right, you see that we can, now we're seeing some information from the, the sound devices. So we've got the battery status, we've got the card status, and we also have, very importantly, uh, transport controls. So we can hit record, 
And now we're recording uh, our next take, which is called Null T01, great name, on the sound device is 688. And if we hit stop, it will, in fact, stop on the 688. Okay? Uh, we can also, it also works the other way. If we hit record on the 688, uh, it will record on the B Link app. Okay? And vice versa. So, real two way communication. Uh, in the next screen, you see you've got some additional controls. Uh, you can do, you can change the sample rate, the bit depth, the top level folder. You can also edit the scene name. Um, so we can put in any scene name we want, which maybe let's say we'll call it Godzilla for no apparent reason. Okay, so now if we hit, if we hit record uh, on the sound devices, you can see we are recording Godzilla take one. Okay, which I think there have been about 30 Godzillas, so we've got a ways to go. Uh, you can also do circle take, false take, uh, and you can change the scene name, take number, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, so then on the next screen, there is track control. Uh, so for this, you can actually arm and disarm individual tracks. So if, uh, let's say, right now we've got Paul on track one. Let's say Paul left because he uh, got fired. And um, you can see on the sound devices 688 that the, um, you know, that that track has been disarmed. And we can rearm it because we actually love Paul. Um, we can also change the name from dog to, let's say, uh, whoops. Hope it's sending something blank. Hmm. Okay. From dog to, let's say, cat, because some people like cats and some people like dog cats even better. Okay? And so we can see that on the 688, we've got all that going on. So, um, that is pretty much the B Link hub as it relates to the 688. Now, another app that you can use, and so the B Link app is a free app that Timecode Systems provide. Another app that you can use um, that Timecode Systems is very proud of their integration is Movie Slate. So, we're going to close the B Link hub and we're going to go ahead and open up Movie Slate. So, the Movie Slate app is $30 on the App Store, uh, but there's an additional uh, plug-in for, for sound that you would have to purchase for $300. So it's, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's much better. Um, or it has some additional features, I should say. Uh, so you can see that we are already, our time code's already integrated. Let's pretend that we weren't integrated already. Uh, so we've stopped the sync on that. So to, to integrate the sync or to start that going, all we would do is hit the sync button, press the time code, hit the sync button and hit connect to TCS hub source. Okay, so it's going to connect, read the time code, could take up to 60 seconds, and it's faster than that. So it's asking us, do we want to send data to our recorder, or do we want to get it from the recorder? We're going to get it from the recorder so it all matches. And so on the right-hand side, uh, you'll see all the different track names. Um, you've got you know channel 1, channel 2, cat, 3, 4, 5, all that fun stuff. And on the right hand side, on the left hand side rather, you see the scene name is Godzilla, the take name is Take Two. Um, and if we want to if we want to change that, we can very easily just type in uh, Rodan because Godzilla Rodan. You had to got to delete it first, but you can very easily type in Rodan. Okay, and now we're ready with Rodan Take One. And if we hit record or start shot. Now we've got Rodan take one over here. We can end the shot. Um, the other thing that we have here is a false start. So let's say we wanted to do Rodan take two. Oh wait, it's not supposed to be Rodan take two, or we're not we're not supposed to be rolling right now. False take it. Are you sure it was a false take? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, and it marks it as a false take, and we still have Rodan take two queued up. Okay. Uh, the other things that you can do is you can do notes. Notes are amazing. So it's got all these different pre-programmed notes. Uh, so right now in here we've got air aircraft, air conditioning, uh, wind and rain, basically all of a sound mixer's worst nightmares. Uh, we also could put in dog because dogs bark. Yeah, thank you, Joe. Um, so, and the, so the great thing about, and we can circle take and all that, and the great thing about this is this can all get integrated into a sound report.
which I'll show in a little bit. Uh, we can also, as, as before, we can also arm and disarm tracks. Um, so we just disarm the track for Paul, and on the, on the 688, Paul's been disarmed, but he's back. We can also, um, we can also just change the, uh, we can change the track names here. So if we wanted to go back to, from cat to, uh, let's say, bird, because cats eat birds, and why not? Now we've changed bird here, bird here, pretty fast. I'm actually really impressed with how fast this is. Um, so yeah, so that is, that's pretty great. The other thing about this uh, is that this is something called a snippet, okay? So there's a setting here under snippets, right? It says text snippets on the settings tab where you can go into actors and you could add, let's say you, you were starting a feature or a TV show, you could add every single uh, character name into the snippet and then if you go back to the sound department, when you go to change it, all the snippets pop up. So if you're, you know, so if uh, you know, you want to add Indiana was one of those. You could very quickly go to Indiana rather than having to retype. So it's pretty powerful stuff, and you can do the same thing for. Um, yeah, you can do the same thing for filters and lenses and mics. And where are the sound reports? Hmm. Let's cut that part out. Okay, but there are a bunch of different things you can do with snippets. Okay. So uh, now it's the end of the day. Uh, we can go into the History tab. And we will see that in our History tab, we're in, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, sorry. All right, so now we're in our History tab. We can see all the different scenes that we've recorded, OK, with all the different um, notes. So this is one that we recorded previously where the mixer note was, Aircraft, air conditioning, wind, rain, worst frame line ever. Uh, another bad one. And then you see we've got the ones that we just did. And we can go in and edit those. Um, and we could call it, and we could change it from dog to crying baby. Because that happens all the time too. Oops. Crying baby. Done. OK. And that'll integrate into our sound report. So now what we can do, uh, we can also upload pictures, record things. But the best thing is that we can email a sound report in a lot of different ways. Um, but we can email a sound report directly from the um, and directly from the app. So this sound roll, we're going to email it. I'm going to email it to myself. There we go. So we're going to email it to nickh at gothamsound.com. Okay, and we can say we can add in whatever we want, and there'll be a sound report uh, attached to it as a zip file. So now you can see that instead of just having a sound report uh, on the disk here and having it being lost somewhere in post, or maybe everybody that needs to see it doesn't see it, you can actually pick and choose who to email a beautifully typewritten uh, sound report to. And that's it. That's the integration of the Timecode Systems Wave and the Sound Devices 6 Series. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Nick Houston for Gotham Sound and Communications.